healthy students hope you are taking care at your home and uh, be at your home and stay safe at home and take all the precaution regarding the coronavirus so whatever time is going on still studies should continue so we are doing our first chapter motion of science that is your physics first chapter we have to study this chapter now in detail already in 8th class about the different type of things you have done now we have to do in detail related to these motions in straight line with graphs and all the things so let's continue about it what you are watching that ki my position is same till now so i will say that my body is at rest now see this i have changed my position so i will say that i am in motion so two terms are there first to know about motion that is rest and motion rest and motion a body or an object is said to be in rest if it does not change its position with respect to time and surrounding motion an object or a body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to time and surrounding as you have heard about two definitions i have told to you now tell me when i have told to you about that my position and after that i have changed so you you can see that i have compared my position so similarly now look it here so if i will draw a line on the board so i will say to you measure it so what you will do you will take a scale and you will start measuring this line with the help of a scale so you put the zero of the scale with this point till this point and you will measure this line similarly to describe a motion we need a origin what we need a origin so origin is the reference point which describes the motion specify the motion you can just compare it with like uh, a with an example like your uh, home is 2 km away from the school so school is reference point and if you will say that school is 2 km away from the home so home is your origin so to describe any to describe any motion we need the origin so after that different type of motion you have read in your junior classes like linear motion you have read about linear motion circular motion okay beta you have done all these things in your junior classes about the different types of motion we will say that types of motion so there are different type of motions are there depending on their path so few examples i have written here now you think by yourself also like vibratory motion oscillatory motion periodic motion non periodic motion different motions you have already done so recall them by their definitions from your eighth class book or in your mind we have to read further now so these things are about related to motion now just see this to describe as you can see that i have drawn a line here you can see that i have drawn a line here so i need two points so let us i label this point a i label this point b and further is also there like this point is c and this is i am marking 0 km this i am marking like 5 10 15 20 and like this 25 30 35 and this is at 40 in kilometers now as you can see that i have written a word kilometer so what we call this kilometer this kilometer is known as unit this kilometer is known as unit so this unit specify the physical quantity physical quantity we will come to know about that pause kar